Hey guys and welcome to the Daily Tarkov News. If you'd like to see the unofficial patch notes, in the top link of the description is a link to our Discord and there is a channel in that Discord dedicated to the patch notes. Just to remind you guys, if I do talk too slow for you, down the bottom right of the YouTube video there is a cogwheel and you can change the speed to 1.5 times to speed me up. Now, in weapon presets modes, after purchasing the necessary mods, the player will now be returned to the preset screen. Previously, after you bought your mods, you'd have to click presets and then search your gun again, but now you just get thrown straight back to the screen. They have now added the ability to, to disable icons in the hideout using the I key. They have added new sounds for the SKS in the DVL shots. Here's the SKS. And now the DVL. You can agree they sound absolutely amazing. They have added a new redesign for the Kiva M helmet. It definitely does look nicer and more pleasing than the last one. It just looks more softer and comfy than the old Kiva one that was in the game since basically the very first iteration of the game. And now it definitely looks pretty decent. I still won't use it though. And they've also increased the fire rate of the P226 pistol. You can now spam it like a madman. Compared to before when it was definitely a bit slow. There has been a new task added which is called the stylus one. For this you need to kill killer a hundred times. And then you get to unlock killer's top half of his outfit. Which is basically adidas stripes. And now onto the hideout. There's been a new station added which is the Christmas tree. For this you need to get 10 Christmas tree ball decorations. Then you need 10 red as well as 10 silver. And you only need 5 violet. As you can see it turns your hideout into a wonderful Christmas wonderland. And now onto barter trades. A barter trade has been added for the GSH-118 for Prepper at Tier 4. It costs 2 military cables. This bag is now the largest bag inside of Tarkov. It does hold a huge amount of 48 slots. And now for items added. There has been 6 guns added. The first one is a DT-MDR which is a 762x51 variant. A VPO215 which shoots 0.366. The SR25 which shoots 7.62. The Orsis T5000 which shoots 7.62. The MP9 which shoots 9.95. And then the MP9N which also shoots 9.95. I am definitely excited to use the MP9N. With the fire rate of 1100, that thing is going to be lightning. And now onto a few armor items. You now have the soft tank crew helmet, which actually doesn't spawn on any traders. You have to find this in raid. You have the Xful ballistic helmet black, which is on peacekeeper tier 4. You have the Xful ballistic helmet tan or coyote, which is on peacekeeper tier 4. You have the 6B2 armor which is on Ragman tier 2 and the Velocity Systems Multi-Purpose Patrol Vest which is on Ragman tier 4. And now on to a few weapon mods. You have the Volms Pilad 4x32 Rifle Scope, the NC Star ADO P4 Sniper Rifle Scope, you have the Road to 43 for the 762, you have a CAC PRS QDC 762x51 sound suppressor, the SAG Mark 1 free float chassis for the SVD, the B and T MP9 9x19 sound suppressor. There is a few more items added but they're mostly just rail mounts. And now on to ghost changes. The penetration for the 366 EKO has been changed from 26 to 28. The Gexa damage has been changed from 77 to 80 and the 366 FMJ has had its damage changed from 71 to 73. 
the penetration value for the M80 rounds has been changed from 45 down to 41. Now this is more of a public announcement, do not forget about the Twitch drop which is happening between December the 30th to January the 5th. Between this time if you have linked your Twitch to your um, Tarkov account you can earn exclusive items in game. There is 40 streamers at the moment who have been selected to do this Twitch drop so make sure you go and check them out. There is a link somewhere where you can pull up all of the Twitch peoples. But guys, that is the end of today's news. If you'd like to see the unofficial patch notes, make sure you click in the top link of the description to our Discord. We have a dedicated patch notes channel for the unofficial patch notes. Guys, if you've enjoyed this, make sure you leave a like and a comment down below. And guys, thank you so much for all the support that has been happening recently. Don't forget to head over to twitch.tv slash piranha underscore if you want to come and say hi to the community. Guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.